Hey everyone, this is a quick video on how to enable and disable track changes in Google Docs. Track changes is when you make any modification to your document, a little window pops up showing the change that was made. So I'm gonna write in my document, hello, this is a video. As you can see here, a little window pops up saying I added the sentence, hello, this is a video. I now have the option to accept and add the sentence to my document or reject and delete the sentence from my document. If I accept it, it stays. If I reject it, it gets deleted, like so. There are use cases to having track changes enabled, and there are also sometimes you just don't need to have it enabled at all. So I'm going to show you how to enable track changes, but I'll also show you how to disable it. So for this example, I'm just gonna write again, hello, this is a video to show the track change is enabled, and then I'm gonna disable it. You don't need to have anything in there when you're enabling it or disabling it. I'm just showing it for this video. So to enable or disable, you need to go to the top right corner of your screen uh, in the screen rectangle box here. Mine says suggesting, which means I am in track change mode. So click that box and a drop down will appear. If you want to have track changes enabled, click suggesting. If you want to have track changes disabled, make sure you're on editing. So I'm going to go ahead and click editing. As you can see here, the track change is still appearing because it was enabled at one point. But if I go down to the document and say, this is a sentence, the track change will not appear for that new edition. It's only gonna be there for the additions I added while track changes was turned on. I can go in and I can accept or reject this change. I'm going to reject it because I can still do that. And now it's gone. So just know that when you disable track changes, any existing track changes that haven't been accepted or rejected will continue to appear in your document until you accept or reject them. I hope this video is useful. If it is, please make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in future quick videos.